Welcome to Savvy Business, Life Unscripted, with your host, Christina Rivera, where our guests share their wisdom and valuable business tips, empowering our audience to expand their personal potential. Hi, Francie, Jane. Welcome to Savvy Broadcast, a Life Unscripted. I'm so grateful to have you here today. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me, lady. This is a really fun, great conversation. Yeah, yeah. We chatted a little bit beforehand about the craziness of winter storms here in uh, North uh, South Texas and uh, and all the rest of the the Southeast, also uh, Northeast, and getting hit with storms. We're looking forward for that spring heading on out. But you're doing great work helping people with your company, Terawatt. I love the name, uh, building a professional development and helping people build their professional careers, which I love the, uh, the whole idea of what your company does. Um, but share with our audience how you came to creating Terawatt and how it's helping people today? Sure. Um, well, actually, it's funny. The genesis of the company is a funny, well, not funny, but it's just, it feels very sort of like au courant. But mm-hmm. um, I, I remember that summer when Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton were having the debates mm. and that over the summer and was that, you know, 2016. And there's so much discussion about the net loss in manufacturing jobs. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's, I was like, okay, okay, I get it. You know, like, you know, outsourcing or engine, you know, manufacturing, like just in time, this kind of thing. And I started like looking into that because I was really curious about, wow, like they're throwing around numbers, like 5 million net jobs lost, 10 million net jobs lost. And I was like, wow, that's, that's a lot of people, you know, like completely losing a career. Yeah. And I started looking into it. And, you know, like no one really sure the exact number, but it is somewhere between like five and 10 million. That's like a real thing. Mm-hmm. It's really happening. And um, one of the big things is that people are leaving like small towns. Like it's no longer like a manufacturing company owns a town. It's, yes. it's become a lot different than that. So like, let's say they left like, you know, rural Wisconsin and going to like an exurb of Houston or something like that. I mean, there's just a lot of changes. And yeah. Anyway, it was really interesting. And my one thought was like, okay, so like if that were me, like, here you go. Where's like the internet version to like help you reset? Mm -hmm. Sort of thinking like, what's like the Yahoo of like, like, almost like LinkedIn, like where you just go to like, Mm -hmm. be given ideas of creating a new career. Like who's helping you for like low cost? And I kept searching and I was like, God, I'm just not using the right search terms because like I know this must exist. And finally, I was just like, you know, I think it's like so obsessing me that I'd like to work on this. Like, I want to start a company, like helping people, you know, because what I started to see is that there are a lot of people in the biz, but they're not exactly helping only the individual. Like yeah. they might be a headhunter or they might be a social, um, you know, like LinkedIn, like a social Social. But the headhunters often work for the businesses because they get paid from them. So I find that in my experience, they're they're looking out more for the companies than for the people coming. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And it was like that kind of thing, or there'd be like all these like women return to work, but like you know conferences. But again, it was like all paid for by like Morgan Stanley or a bank. And I was like, you know, like again, like I don't necessarily need to like want all the people going back to work to work in the bank that you know they want to, maybe they don't. But I just feel like. What is that? What is best for that person? Well, what's like, the other options for? Yeah, or like right, like like I want you to be satisfied, like just you and find exactly like your thing. Like this is a great opportunity, right? I mean, your career is going away. What's your thing? And I just kept being like, I can't. This doesn't exist, and so I started being like obsessed about it. <laughs> Which is great. That's how entrepreneurs are born. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's and like I was looking at some of your, um, you know, your past you know, media pieces. And I think for me, how I knew that I wanted to be start this is like, I couldn't stop thinking about it. It was like obsessing me, like, you know, and I, and I kept thinking, oh, this should be done or I, and feeling really strongly about it. And I felt like that to me was like, it's, you know, worth doing it when you can't let something go. It's not sort of like a passing. Yeah. Passion. Yeah. And you know what, this is, this is perfect, perfect fancy because uh, many years ago I was, uh, oh my gosh, was it 2008 when the bust happened? I was in four companies after another where I was going to be let go. 
and I would get another job the next day. Like I had such a great network of people I'd worked for that I got a job the next day. But the point is within four years, I had four different jobs and I was like, I cannot start at the bottom of a new company again. Uh, you know, cause what it is, you're new, you have to prove yourself. There's a lot of stress in that. And I'm yeah. like, I am just so done with this. And my ex boss said to me, you should just go out on your own. You know, yeah. start, start a consulting company or something. And I was like, yeah, but I, I've never done that. And what do you do? So, I mean, I could have totally used Terawatt back then. She yeah. said, what does Terawatt mean? You have a very cool story about how you came to naming it for one and how they're yeah. helping people. How are they doing that? Yeah. So, um, well, the name, it took a really long time. Initially, it was, I called it Next Chapter with No Vowels. And because I love the, um, the musical artist, The Weeknd, <laughs> because like no lasties. So I was like, oh, in the next chapter with no vowels. And then I realized that that's like a really common phrase for coaches to use online. And it's obviously just a common phrase just generally in the in English language. Mm-hmm. It was really hard to distinguish ourselves. And so, um, so for instance, like people couldn't find the website if they didn't have the exact URL, like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, okay. So there are a lot of things going on and I was looking to change it. And um, so Terawatt got me really excited and I still feel excited about it to this day. Like I'm so pleased with the works. It's almost like, if, I call it like a, you know, like a double entendre, but really just like for me <laughs> in that, you know, so Terawatt means a trillion watts of energy and it's used in relationship to large groups of energy usage, like, um, you know, like a country's usage of energy. So they might say like United States consumes, I'm just making this up, like eight terawatts of energy a year, whatever, I'm just, you know, that genre. And it's just like a way to like bring it down. So it's a little bit easier, you know, to talk about um, large chunks. And so for me, I love that idea of the group mm-hmm. um, creating the energy. And so we'll get into what the, the company does, but we have a, one of our really core things right now is this group component. Mm-hmm. That's a terror one. So that's how we do, we work, we work on it. And then the other thing I liked about it was how it sounded a little bit like Tierra in Spanish, which was the ground. And so I have my little logo, which is like a little like growing tree. Uh-huh. So for me, I love the idea of like live wire, like, you know, ground energy, you know, the, and the oh. ground, the fertile ground grows the bush. And for me, or the tree, for me, like professional development is all about like, you know, achieving your potential or, seeing, you know, just going further, yeah. you know, rather than just kind of the rote day-to-day, just repetitive nature, but like, how can you become better and do more and, you know, everything. And so um, how we do it is we use group live workshops. Mm -hmm. So if you think about like Weight Watchers or Alcoholics Anonymous, it's a little bit the idea of groups of people with a and so we'll say, you know, we'll have groups of 10 people and we'll have a coach and the way it becomes, and one of the big things is that it's, it's affordable, right? Because right now on average, I'd say per hour cost of a professional coach like an executive coach or whatever you want to call it is about $300 per hour. Um, and, you know, but on top of that, they also don't really want to be hired for one hour. You know, they want to commit yeah. <laughs> and so that's expensive. And I think especially if you're starting from scratch or you don't have income, like that's a lot. I mean, it's a crazy commitment to not really have any kind of guarantee. And so what we do is we say, okay, we'll take the coach's rate, whatever their rate is. Some people might be the new coach. And so maybe they're like a hundred dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. They're like, a, you know, wildly successful internationally known name. And let's say they're $10,000 an hour. And then we split it by the users. So in exchange for the group setting, you get a discount on their rate. So you still have access to them and you have feedback, individualized feedback, um, but you don't pay the full rate and you really can have it be for like a 90 minute chunk or a two hour chunk. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm really excited about it. I think, you know, just in terms of like entrepreneurial perspective, mm-hmm. It's it's a tricky business because I've had a really hard time trying to figure out if it's going to be um, directed towards businesses or towards individuals. And you know what's interesting, yeah. Francie, though, from my experience, when I started out, I hired a mentor who was business on purpose because I'm I'm starting a consulting biz. I know mm. nothing about business. 
but it affected all parts of my life because yeah. really they're intertwined. I think sometimes people go, I'm going to get a personal coach for my own personal stuff, but I find all the bits of your life become intertwined so that yeah. if you're working on business, you're going to be affecting your personal life anyway. A hundred percent. It's all connected. Yeah. I have a, um, an old therapist who would say like, you take yourself wherever you go. Yeah. Like when, if you're having like a problem at home, you're probably having a similar or somewhat related problem at work. Right. Cause there's something about your relationships. Um, and so right the way we're doing it right now, and hopefully this changes, but I really do want it to be like affordable for anyone in the world, you know, have it be much more kind of a retail component, but we just don't have the, um, like, we the quantity of people visiting our website to be able to do retail right now. So, right. So what we're doing is we're really pitching to businesses. So to HR groups. And so we're saying, listen, like we will bring your company, let's say Microsoft, you know, um, these different classes with vetted coaches and it can be all people within your company. So it can be like a manager training or it could be like new parents or it could be, you know, maternity, whatever the, the thing is. So it can be something niche or it could be something like executive presence. Yeah. Um, and so for the pitch really now to the businesses is that it's a way to connect people while you're doing something else so that it kind of works in the setting of COVID where everyone's sort of off doing their own thing. Like how do you have the water cooler conversation with people? And so they mm-hmm. have a little bit like you're connecting people throughout the, mm-hmm. the company in different ways. And um, I love that. Yeah. And it makes because, it easier for the, the HR people because per head it's more, it's more cost effective. So like just getting back to the $300 an hour thing, you know, if you're the CEO of Microsoft, no big deal. They would get you a coach if you wanted one, mm-hmm. but for like a new hire and you're right out of college, like that's, they wouldn't make that, they wouldn't agree to that, you know? I mean, so it's like, how can you bring professional development to everyone? Yeah. That's, that's our pitch. No, no, but I love it. I love it because there's so many, I think when you have all of your workers living to their fullest potential, bringing out their gifts and talents to their fullest, they can only serve the company in even grander, better ways. So, and and the company I'm working with now is a fabulous company that really, and one of the key elements they hit on is they want entrepreneurial spirited people Mm. to work with them because they want you to bring out your gifts, your ideas. They want you to put it on the table and they ask everyone for their feedback. And unlike a lot of companies that say, Hey, give us your feedback, but we really don't care. They yeah. actually actually do care. And so I, I think if more companies would benefit if they were to actually see the potential of, hey, this is a new kid right out of college, but it doesn't matter. They still have 18, 20 years experience that and their own unique experience that they could add to the table, especially in this ever-changing digital world. I mean, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, you have to be listening to the kids out of college right now for social media. I mean, unless you're really like really crazy because they are natives, right? Like they, so <laughs> big. yeah, no agreed. And I think that like, there's so many, I'm probably think that I would always think there'd be great ideas of, of all levels of people and how do you kind of percolate it up? I think that's a really interesting conversation too, you know? Yeah. Might be like, that, how does it look like when say a company is like, I'm so jazzed. I want to get our employees on it. How does it get started? How do you help them work through the process to get started? What does it look like? Yeah. Well, so actually, so actually we're figure, trying to figure that out right now. So we're just about to have focus groups about this. So, okay. you know, there are a few different options, right? It could be, there's a channel on the Terawatt website, right? Where it's like, you know, um, Patagonia.terawatt. Mm-hmm. So their classes are there for just Patagonia, or it could be that we're on their learning management system, mm-hmm. or it could be just even links that HR is sending around really just to the final result. Um, so that's actually something we're trying to, we're talking to people about right now. Um, if you had any feedback, I would love to hear it. I mean, I think my goal is just to make it as easy as possible for people in human resources. So for me, it's kind of like, what makes it easiest for you? I'll build it. Um, and so that's, yeah, so that's kind of where we are, but I think we also have this component. So I think we're going to do like twice a year, once a year thing where then we offer free classes with our coaches just to anyone. Oh. And we did that in October and that was awesome. And, and that's like a way that I do want to like help a little bit on like the retail side and help individuals participate in these classes as well. And so that's kind of the, the moving forward way. I think we're going to address the individual side. 
Okay, and I saw it was goterawatt.com. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, goterawatt.com. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's Terra, T E R A, Watt, W A T T. So it's goterawatt.com. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no dashes or anything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, I, I can't wait for people to get started. I know some businesses, I'm going to be sending out your website and say, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because there's so many businesses out there, like how do we really deeply connect with our, our, you know, our staff who are working now all over the place with COVID in many states and, and really get everyone on board, bringing their best talent and skills to the table. I think there's a great platform for businesses to do that. And I'm so grateful that you're out there doing that. Thank you, Francie. Yeah. Wow. Well, thank you. Yo, I love it. I mean, I could talk about it all day. You know, I just... One of the things that was fascinating to me about this is that, you know, I don't even really have a human resources background. I just think this is like something that should be out there. But um, when I was doing all this research, I wanted to like kind of get more into like the HR mind and understand. And so I was reading all this research. And what's crazy is that, you know, you know, in your heart, like if you work for a company that invests in their employees, you know, that's like a good thing. But recently there's been a ton of research showing how it like, you know, when that happens, like there's higher revenue, there's higher profitability, higher innovation, like you name it, like everything, it goes up when you invest in employees. And I love it because it's the kind of thing you like, you kind of know is to be true. Yeah. So the numbers are there. It's hard to justify it, I think, for a lot of companies, but now there's so much information about it. It's like, yeah. It really is. There's absolutely no reason to not try it today. Get started. And it's affordable. And and when you yeah. get that your your employees operating to full potential, I mean, forget about it. It's going to be through the roof for all these businesses. So yeah. I just want to thank you again, Francie, for coming to share your great gifts and Tarawa and what you guys are doing. Thank you so much for coming to Savvy Broadcasting. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you, lady. Like, subscribe, and share this episode. To listen to more savvy episodes and savvy biz tips, go to www.lifeunscriptedradio.com. To find out about our paid sponsorship opportunities or how to become a guest, email Christina at lifeunscriptedradio.com.